All right, guys, I just haven't made the video, but postmodernism, you know, you got things like um, you got movements like socialism, Marxism, you have naturalism, supernaturalism, you have modernism, postmodernism, you have different philosophers, you have people who are believe in reason and logic some people believe truth doesn't exist everything's relativistic everything is subjective um your truth is your truth and my truth is my truth um, you got empirical truth things you can observe you got metaphysical you know, things that are abstract abstract truth um epistemology the nature of truth, the study of truth, back to the metaphysical, um, the concept of uh, what is the meaning of life. You got um, the cosmos, cosmological, ontological, teleos. The things that I've learned so far, I'm not really, I'm not a professional. But when it comes to postmodernism, that is the most contemporary idea that's made up of a lot of these other things. Um, modernism is more on the reason, reason and logic, empirical, man's capability to reason and, and, and govern themselves, um, individualism, um, self-governing, uh, has a lot to do with, uh, you know, capitalist, uh, democracy, um, liberalism, uh, individualism. So collectivism is more, more collectivism collectivist uh, idea is that the group comes before the individual um for the greater good of the group of the collective so postmodernism is in this book it says that it's uh it's it's versus it's it's against modernism um it's kind of leans more towards marxism and socialism it's antithetical to the individual. Um, and yeah, it's, it's 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 against capitalism, really. It's against a free market. Um, so it's interesting. A lot of good insight. It gave me a lot of different individuals different philosophers different forms of philosophy to study on my own and to go do my own research so it opened up an, an, an idea for me it opened up philosophy more for me um so yeah i would read it you know i actually became aware of the book from obviously jordan peterson a genius in his own right or a precocious individual in his own right meaning a young man young individual who for some reason comes up with the idea to focus on one thing at an early age and learn it that's what we say oh he's a genius man he's only this age and he's already in the mba or oh he's only a 14 year old has already graduated college and you know he already has a master's degree at 18 years old we we label them geniuses but really they were just precocious and there's variables there's, there's there's different factors involved. They were, yeah, some some were forced to learn things at an early age by their folks. Some, like a Mike Tyson, just got lucky and certain variables and factors came into their life and where they just, for survival, they were trained to be a fighter. Coming from a rough neighborhood, had fear and anger and rage sublimation having no other role models in their life so they found a role model to to train them to be great at something or they were introduced to something and they naturally on their own but by being introduced to it by somebody older than them they enjoyed it and they became precocious and they and they learned it and became a skill they became professional at it at an early age so anyway i, I just went off um I would read it. I would read it. The uh, postmodernism or explaining postmodernism. The author. I mean, I'll leave it. 
I'll leave it in, in the um in the playlist description. But um yeah y'all peace.